Hello teachers. I really feel very proud to be a part of Tata DAB Public School, Joda, where each and every member is applying his or her hard effort just to benefit the students. The task which we all are doing is really appreciable. I feel motivated by looking at the efforts of all the members of Tata DAB Public School, Joda. Now the question arises after completing one chapter online, can we conduct online tests? Yes, we can. The simplest way is to use Google Forms. In this video, I will be demonstrating you the way to download and to use Google Form application and create online tests and give it to our students where they can click on the link and just they can assess the question and answer it accordingly. Automatically, the mark will come to us. Now, let's begin this video. How to do this? The very first step that you need to do is you need to click on Play Store. And then in the search box, just type Google Forms, G O O G L E, Google Forms, F O R M S Forms. Okay. So you will get an icon like this. Yes, you will get an icon like this. Okay. In my case, it is already installed. So it is the options are uninstall and open in my case so you need to download and install in your system mobile system okay so i have already downloaded let me close all the applications yes where is that google form yes this one the name of this app is forms app okay just remember the icon and the name but in play store you need to write google forms and it will appear click on this and then you will get two boxes google forms and survey heart just click on google forms and wait for a few seconds okay keep patience now as i had already created the forms okay so it is showing me one two three four forms okay so all these forms are available in which account of mine so how to assess that top left side just go to the top left side you will get three lines just click on the three lines and you can see here all these forms have been created in tata dav dot online classes at the red gmail dot com okay let me move to another account let me move to another account and then i need to click on ritwik let me click on ritwik dot at the red gmail dot com and click on ok button it is saying currently you do not have any forms you can create one using the composite button below so see below you can see the plus sign this plus sign is called as the composite button click over it keep patience come okay keep patience it will come see below there is one option create blank form so just click on it okay and then here you will get untitled form just click over it untitled form just delete untitled form and write your subject name let me write computer test test -E computer test which test computer test one description in description you can write general instructions for your test how many questions are there okay so i'm not going to write all these things just you can write anything but in the general instructions you can write what the uh, in, sorry in the description you can write general instructions regarding your test okay full mark how many questions are there each question carries how many marks all these things and then and then you need to click on this plus button when you will click on the plus button you will have to decide what type of question should be the first one it should be a short answer because the very first question is write your name okay so i have chosen short answer type question write your name let me write the question write your name means the students will have to write his or her name write your name and uh, you can see here there is an option called required it is deactivated in this condition if you will click over it it will become activated now what is the meaning of this means this question became compulsory the student is bound to answer this question or else he or she will not be able to submit this form okay then Sir, how to uh, let me give question number? No, this is a general instruction. Huh? So we can write just uh, without giving any question number. 
just write the question okay then how to give another question just click on this plus sign okay the second question is write your roll number or write your class short answer type question write your class write your class and section write your class and section and make it compulsory to make it compulsory we need to click on hey let me let me tell you don't click on this particular button okay this is the delete button click on the required button activate it okay then again click on plus the third question can be let me start computer question one to show you okay uh, the first question let me make multiple choice question so let me click on multiple choice question now the very first question is your uh, 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 mouse mouse m o u s e mouse what type of what type of device is a mouse huh? this is the question this should be the question what type of device what type of device is the mouse okay then you can click on add option okay click on add option so you will get option number one option number one is processing device p r o c e s s i n g processing d e b i c e processing device c how to get another question c in my case it is getting stuck here okay so in order to remove this part again and again i am clicking in this particular button in your mobile whether it will whether this issue will come i don't know but in my, in my mobile it is coming okay this part is getting stagnated so i need to click on this particular button okay now add another option you can see add another option don't click here click on this blue button add option okay then processing device the second one is input device the second choice which i want to give to my students is input device input device again how to get that click here okay add option output device o u t p u t output device output device output device okay finished okay and if you want to make this question compulsory just click on required click on required here now let me add another question by clicking on this plus button another question how to make another question let me make a long answer type question yes okay so write the question here write the question describe describe the characteristics of a computer c h a r a c t e r i s characteristics of computer c o m p u t e r yes okay now don't make it compulsory because the student may or may not be able to answer this question but he or she may be able to answer this question multiple choice question okay so every time just keep in your mind make all multiple choice questions compulsory and the very first three question write your name uh, where is that question yes write your name write your class and section write your uh, what type of device is the mouse uh, this is the multiple choice question so make it compulsory make these all question compulsory but don't make this kind of question compulsory okay the student should have the liberty to leave this question skip this question so don't activate the required button in this case it depends upon your choice okay now what to do after this let me click on setting here you can change the setting also this one this circle is the setting okay click on it collect email address collect email address if you will check this okay then a student is bound to give his or her email address limit to one response what is the meaning of limit to one response means from one account the answer can be submitted only once okay then allow responders to edit response after submit no i don't have to check it then allow responders to view summary no okay and then submit here okay submit close this advertisement creating form you can see the form is getting created 
yes form link or copy link just click on this copy link link copy you can see the message here down yes teachers then you need to click on this copy link button okay click on this copy link button you will get a message link copied and then you can click on the whatsapp icon okay let me select my geo number and then let me give some instruction by giving some space okay uh, dear students dear st U D E N T S. Dear students, give the computer test. Give the computer test. Okay, click on go button. So this is how you can share the link, your Google form link with your students. Okay, now the student will have to click on this particular link and they can answer your questions via online. Now, how to check the responses of the students? Or in other words, we can say how to check the answers of the students. Please follow the instructions. Please keep some patience. Okay, I know the video is going to be long, but it will really help you all. So we need to click on this forms application. Okay, click on this forms application. Click on the above rectangle. This is that is Google Forms. Okay. And then click on this question paper. Click on this question paper. Okay, then you can see here two responses. You have got two responses. Okay, just click on view responses. Okay, you will get some advertisement. Okay, but don't get irritated. Close the advertisement. Okay, close the advertisement. And then below you will find three options summary, individual, export. You need to click on export. Okay, and then you need to click on Google Sheets. Okay. Okay. Close the application. Close the application. It happens. Okay. So click on export. Click on. Then click on Google Sheets. Okay. Google Sheets. Click on export. Click on this Google Sheets. And wait for some time. Okay. Wait for some time. Yes. You will get varieties options. I mean uh, various uh, email IDs. If you are having those so you need to remember you need to remember that using which account you have created the Google form so I had created the Google form uh, question paper using which account again export Google Sheets okay let me wait for some time yes I, I had created using ritwik.jora.dav at the red gmail.com this one so I need to click here and then click on OK button. Click on OK button. So it will take some time. You need to keep patience. Okay. And then you can see the responses of your students. Here two responses have come because I have tried twice. Okay. Anyway, how to send it to principal sir? Okay. How to send the same response to principal sir? So on the top right side there are three buttons. Click on the three buttons and then you can choose which option share and export okay share and export then what you need to do send a copy click on send a copy then it should be in which format excel format dot xlsx it is the extension for excel file okay click on ok button then okay so i will not select this uh, principal search id uh, let uh, let me send in my geo number okay so this is how you can get the response of the students in google sheet and then you can send it to principal sir or anybody whom you want to send i hope you will like this video please uh, rewind the video again and again and practice it really once or twice or thrice you will find it to be difficult but after certain practice, after practice, practicing it for several times, the task will become easy for you all. This is my guarantee. Really, believe me. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice day.